Hey guys, I'll keep it dirty off road. Today we're doing something a little bit different. We're going to do a quick take of a truck we saw on the trails. We saw a Blix Creek off road long travel kit. This thing was very impressive. So there's going to be, uh, you know, new kinds of videos. We're going to start featuring a lot of the rigs that show up on our runs. If we find something cool, we're going to show it to you guys here. This kit is pretty cool. Now, this is one of the cooler trucks that showed up today. This is a Blix Creek kit. Those are those are 12 inch stroke, right? 12, yes. What's the travel numbers this thing's putting down? 17 and three quarter. Ah, that's a lot of travel. Look at this structure in here too, guys. It's all tied into here. And you said it goes into the dash as well, inside, right? This goes through the through the firewall and uh, has a structure, a tube structure behind the dash. But it's not fully caged yet. Not fully caged yet. Right, and then bump stops are sitting right at the top where it should be. Dude, this thing is nice, man. Wild did a killer job with this thing. They Look do. at that. Notice all the plating they do too on the frame, right? They do it all through the front to address all the weak points. That is a must on any kit. Oh yeah. Any kit should have that. But I think the only thing that, that I think is striking me as odd is your sits a little low compared to mine. I mean, like your arm is perfectly straight, which is what you want to see, right? You want to see a perfectly straight arm. I wonder if your kid and the springs and everything's more set up for like a 40. Maybe. Your skid plate though is is your front bumper has a different design. So you have all that that clearance where the cross member mm -hmm. like dips up. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Well and, and if I if we're it's honest, a, right? It's a few more inches. The SVC kit, the way the that little funky little the little kick in the arm. Kick in the arm, it's a cheat, right? They do that because that's easier to manufacture, right? That's easier to make than that. <laughs> So for them, that they love that end. The um, my shock is way farther into the arm than yours. Yours is way out there mm -hmm. compared to mine, and that's how you know your yours will probably track a whole lot better on the trails than mine will because of how far inboard my shocks are. A lot of people don't realize that's a big difference, yeah. huge difference. I, I haven't ridden in a truck with the uh, SBC mid travel kit, but. I've had mine in the dirt quite a bit since uh, Rob has built it. It does real well. Dude, that looks nice. And then what What do you have in the back? Um, the back is all uh, SBC bed cage, Blitzkrieg uh, shackles on... Um, you got drop shackles? Yes, the Deaver, Deaver 4.5 uh, HD springs. So you got what, one inch drop shackle? Um, I'd have to look it up and, 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 and see. I don't, I don't recall what it was. Specifically. Just based on your ride height, I'm thinking it might be a one because you're you're not too high at the back. You're not way up there. So, you know, if you got four, 4.5, you go down one, you're at about 3.5. That's about, you know, that's about what most are at. Yeah. And then, so you got the SVC rack, similar to what we did, but you got a whole custom setup in the back, right? Now, did Wog do this or did you do this? I, I did this. With, with my uh, best friend, him and I added on to the SBC bed cage mm -hmm. to do the, the bed supports. And uh, it's a nice layout, a man. platform, yeah. I like it. It's a nice layout because if you got to take your tires out, all you got to do is take your cooler off, right? Yeah. You don't have to take everything else out. I wanted to be able to get to my cooler easy. You know, I don't want to have to crawl over stuff to get to it. See, for us, it was about getting access to the tires because we got a lot of fits. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know? Yeah. So we wanted to be ready. But yeah, it looks really good, man. Now, question for you. Why the flat back? Diff coat. I mean, come on, man. Haven't you seen the Banks video by now? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I, I've, I've had, I bought this truck brand new in 2012. That was like one of the only options for, for the, for the. Oh yeah. The nine, nine, Unless you got the Spicer nine, one. Nine, seven, five. And the Spicer ones have a yeah. stupid long yeah. time. Yeah. Any time right now. I never had a problem with, with this, with that cover. So I'll keep it on there. It's a killer build, man. Thank you. That front end is something else, dude. I love it. Cause it, it, it works really it's, well. To me, it's very reminiscent of the HM kids, and I love the HM kids and the Blitzkrieg. I've seen it at Wag a few times, but I've only seen like older kits that he's rehabbing. Mm -hmm. So to see a brand new one and look like that is beautiful. Man. Thank you. Thank very you. cool setup. Can't wait to see what it does on the trails, man. All right, man. Thanks for letting me uh, do yeah, a walk. No Thank you. What's your Instagram, by the way? Uh, so I'm a Harley guy. I read Harley's, and it's FXDLS FX underscore Burt. FXDLX underscore Burt. Mm -hmm. All right. Thank you, man. Now we ended up taking this truck out and this was part of our Dirt King uh, test day and we took it off some few obstacles, took it over a small jump. Over some whoops, it did really good on the whoops. I mean, it was by far the fastest one through the whoops that day. And then finally, 
family, we took it on a wash, a surprise wash and on tight suspension. And again, passed this one there and handled it like it was nothing. And that was untuned. That truck was not tuned at that point. I'm talking to some of the guys there. They actually tuned the truck after the fact. So they actually changed up the springs in the front to get that fund a little bit higher. I was blown away. It's great to see Blitz Creek back. If you guys don't know, those guys were actually taking a break for a while. They got new investors. I think Westside Off Road Group is now part of Blitz Creek. They're making the kits again. And if you haven't seen it, they did a killer deal for uh, the holidays. And it's just a killer setup, guys. It's great to see another really cool solution out on the trails. So make sure you guys go check them out. Go to their website. This video is completely not sponsored. It's just a cool truck that we saw on the trails and we wanted to feature it. And I think it's worth featuring, right? To show you guys what else is out there. All right, guys. Thanks a lot for watching. Please consider subscribing. We'll see you guys on the next one.